Ellie Perry or St. Pierre qualified for the uh, semifinals of the 1500 meter women's race in uh, in the Tokyo Olympics. However, so often her story of being a dairy farmer is talked about. However, so little do we talk to the people who raised her on that dairy farm. Tonight we followed those two, Annie and Charlie, Char and the Perrier family. Here's their story. They put the flag out for special occasions and stuff, and I love it when they do. I always, you know, when you drive in and there's, the, there's that big, huge flag. This time the special occasion is for her daughter. The Olympic debut for Ellie Purrier St. Pierre. Made me cry. <laughs> Honestly, it made me cry. For dad, race day emotions were a bit different. You know, it's just uh, always got nervous for her big races. Friends and family gathered at Richford Junior Senior High School. You looked at the banners. This was her high school. This is where it all began. To support their hometown star. It's incredible support. We're, we're so grateful. We don't know how to thank everyone. It's just. It's been amazing, the outpouring of support. Her support system was treated to a showcase of her memorabilia, local mm -hmm. treats, and best of all, an incredible race. <laughs> Ellie was off, finishing with a time of 405.34, good enough to qualify for Wednesday's 1500 meter semifinal. A moment that the Purriers will never forget. Sometimes it's, it still doesn't seem real. We are extremely proud of her. As is the entire community. Ellie's next race will take place, as we said, on Wednesday. Later in sports, we're going to have a conversation we hear from right after the race, Ellie's husband, another Richford alum, Jamie St. Pierre. But you're not, it's an interview and a conversation you're not going to want to miss. Live in Richford, Marshall Kramsky, NBC5 News. <laughs>